what? Let's play this uh, um, ad, this uh, Ed Markey ad. So Ed Markey, the uh, a recent poll uh, shows Ed Markey now up. Uh, let's see. He's got a wide lead. Apparently, this is a um, there's a there's a four and a half five percent um, margin of error, but he is up um, almost fifty you know fifteen points in the poll in terms of the primary over Kennedy, which is um, making me very happy. Hopefully that will hold. And I think, I think I'm not exactly sure what accounts for it. I think it's just, there is a change amongst democratic primary voters where they, um, they want the, the, there are issues. People seem to be voting based upon issues in these primaries more so than they have in the past. And, um, you know, uh, three or four months ago, five months ago, Markey was only leading by two or three points. And I think just the more people found out about Kennedy and realized he is to the right of Markey, I think this is what, I think this is what's going on. And Markey just released a killer ad, uh, that is, um, one of the best ads I feel like I've seen released in a long time and particularly a politician who is of, you know, the boomer generation. Here's uh, this new Ed Markey ad. And of course I love it just for his accent. There's an invisible contract. We all signed at birth a promise. Every hour we work means longer days of freedom and security. It paved the road in your neighborhoods and it added up to a country. But when crisis hit, Trump's government abandoned America. We asked what we could do for our country. They looked for what they could take. But there's a truth written in every history book. If you break the sacred contract, the people make a revolution. All across America, the essential people are demanding a new deal. Well, they call me the deal maker. Ed Markey's desk was thrown out in the hall by the state house bosses. Markey's bill is now the law. I'm Ed Markey. I'm running for Congress because I want to fight for the principles that I believe in. The bosses may tell me where to sit. No one tells me where to stand. My father was a union leader. He taught me, don't beg for your rights, organize and take them. So in January, I was the first senator to write to Trump. I warned him, we needed a plan. I talked to the Democrats and the Republicans. I told them, we've got to save the fishermen. A month later, we had 300 million for our fishing industry. Trump wanted to cheap out, but I helped negotiate $600 a week for any American struggling to find the next gig. They thought the son of a milkman couldn't learn the rules. I made new ones. I don't need to get on the phone and talk to lobbyists to know what working people think. I get on the streets and I listen. I've got a question for one million people. Do you want to freeze the arms race? I put the deal on the table, but the people make it impossible to refuse. With 500 laws on the books, you think I'm going to stop now? They wish. Green New Deal. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Senator Ed Markey introduced their Green New Deal. Stop climate change and create millions of good jobs in the process. We got to absolutely crush Donald Trump in November. But if we're going to end this era of chaos, that won't be enough. We got to make sure President Biden signs the Green New Deal. We can't wait. We got to have folks in the United States Senate who are willing to stand up for working people. That's who Ed Markey is. I need Ed Markey in the United States Senate. We asked what we could do for our country. We went out. We did it. With all due respect, it's time to start asking what your country can do for you. That, that's like the third or fourth time I've watched that ad. And I got to tell you, it, it just gets more brilliant every time I watch it. I mean, the way that he is sewn together, uh, sort of like the, the different generations of, of, of Democrats who have represented the left side of the party, the, uh, the way that he basically 
dips in and uses, you know, uh, the, the value of, of Obama and AOC, you know, almost juxtaposing uh, them to each other, uh, even though that's, you know, they're, they're not exactly on the same page, as it were. Um, and just the idea that he's basically saying he's already talking about pressuring Joe Biden as president. Uh, while at the same time saying it's absolutely necessary that he becomes president. He is, um, he is not only, you know, tweaking Kennedy off of the, you ask not what your country can do for you, what you can do for your country. Um, he is also basically saying, you know, it's time for people to get material benefits. Mm -hmm. And, um, he's working in stuff like uh, essential workers. I mean, it, it, I, I just thought that was just a, a brilliant ad to be honest with you. I never knew that he was known as the deal maker. <laughs> sure. I buy that. He is now. <laughs> uh, but he is now. Deal maker. He is now. And I also like the way that he pronounces organize. <laughs> <laughs> that whole really thing makes me feel like someone he like the direction that the, the, you know, director got was like, what is that like? And like, well, he really likes the departed but do it for politics or something. Right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was going to say, I thought his uh, accent was a little over the top, but uh, I don't know. I think he played it. He pulled it off. It really did sound like he's from Boston. Uh, let's take a, uh, well, we don't need to take a break, do we? Um, nope, Alex, here it comes. Alex Perrine, 